In the kitchen today, we're making a salad that uses a unique combination, grapefruit and fennel. Steve Midelsky from Baptist Hospital is joining us now to tell us about this creation. This is one of those things in the grocery store that I, I walk by and go, it's kind of cool looking. It, I've never used it before. That is often how I feel most people look at it, Meryl. It's one of those strange, bizarre, what planet did this come from yeah. kind of vegetables. Uh, fennel has got a little bit of a licorice flavor to it. Two mm -hmm. best ways to use it, either raw and salad like we're doing today, mm -hmm. where it roasts really well, believe it or not. Oh. It has a lot of natural sugar. You can toss it with a little oil, a little salt, a little pepper, throw it in the oven 400 degrees, 10 minutes later, roasted fennel, there you go. That sounds interesting. It's very good. Uh, and using it this time of year is about when you start to see it. It actually grows pretty much throughout the course of the, even the winter. It'll grow pretty well, but that's our main guy today. Okay. So once you buy it at the grocery store, it's real affordable too. Yeah. Here's what we do with it. In this core, right here in the center, mm -hmm. is very fibrous. This okay. part's almost inedible. If you have a mandolin, one of those really fancy, expensive, cuts things real thin right, devices, kind of thing. maybe you can yeah. get away with it. But we're going to go ahead and cut it in half, take these fronds off of the top, which you can use for little decorative things where you can just, you know, keep them around the house and look cool. Okay. The next thing, we're going to make like a V cut here. Kind of like you would at the bottom of a cabbage or something. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly what it's like. We just get that real thick the, center so to take the core. out. Yep. And you just get that rid of that guy. Turn them all sideways this year. And then I'm going to cut this real thin. You don't have to go this fast. Please use careful when using knives. <laughs> so once we do that, we got them all ready to go. Okay. Let's start assembling the rest of the ingredients okay. for this guy. So right, we're making would, one serving at a time. But yeah. you could, you know, it would take what? A whole bulb for one, one bulb person? For, yeah, one bulb, two okay. people if you're going to do as an appetizer, if you want to do as a lunch, maybe one and a half bulbs. Okay. If you're a big eater like I am, maybe four. So <laughs> if you want to, you go ahead and add that fennel into okay. the larger bowl there. Then we're going to use two citrus products here. A little bit of orange and also a little bit of grapefruit, ruby red grapefruit, my preference for this, along okay. with a navel orange, a little bit sweeter here. So with that fennel, which has got sort of that savory licorice component to it. We're going to add a little bit of sweetness and also a little bit of sourness. And then the red onions. This is a, how many people are you going to meet later that day? If you're going to meet a lot oh, of people. There we go. <laughs> it's almost the end of the show, Meryl. We're ready to go there. Exactly. And we're going to make everybody eat it. So eat we'll it. all have onions. We'll onion all bread. be on the same yeah. playing field. The next thing here, vinaigrettes, you see this a lot in restaurants and also mm -hmm. in the store. And vinaigrettes, I have noticed, the fancier the title, the more expensive they're becoming exactly. in the grocery store as well. I was at a grocery store that will remain nameless, where earlier today I saw a vinaigrette bottle that was $8. Uh, that's insane. That's a little insane. So we're going to use the very complicated mason jar okay. to make this with me. Vinaigrettes are either three parts oil or four parts oil to one part acid, depending okay. upon where you're at with it. So you can kind of make up your own recipe Absolutely. Then. That's the awesome thing about it. All right, you've got garlic. Garlic, uh, and now I'm going to do some grapefruit juice in here. Just some fresh fruit, squeeze grapefruit juice. So that's your acid. That's my acid okay. exactly. Instead of using a vinegar, and then we're going to use a little bit of Dijon mustard mm. in here as well. Okay. And then we're going to use a low saturated fat oil, trying to keep that healthy vibe right. going throughout this entire dish. And plus, there's no difference as far as flavor goes. This so you're is using canola um, oil. Safflower flour or canola mm -hmm. oil. Okay. Either one is fine. Just a neutral flavored oil, okay. extra virgin olive oil, a little bit too strong. Overwhelms all okay. the other flavors in this. So once that happens, Meryl, I will let you take on this next very complicated assignment here. Okay. We're going to shake this I can vigorously. It. Okay. So once you do that, you're good to go. Stay in the refrigerator. It's got garlic and oil in there. You gotta be a little bit careful about that. Mm -hmm. About seven days or so. Okay. Ten days. Me, 11, 12, depends on how risky I'm feeling yeah. that day, Meryl. So okay. that guy is ready to go. And we can right. just pour that over so the top of So notice you have mint over there. Was the mint supposed to go in this? The mint is to finish this off with. Okay. Just a little bit of fresh sprig. And Meryl, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I now have 40 herbs growing in my house. Uh, in mint, your house? Outside, your thankfully. House. They may soon be growing inside, though, if they keep growing this way. Have you put your basil out yet? I, I have. Okay. I have. So I did it's not about too five. Cool? No, I think it's okay. I think okay. it's good. In my world, a little bit established inside the house. Now I'm turning into the herb guy. The... Uh, Basil, mint actually, one thing about this, if you're going to grow mint at home, which I do suggest, mm -hmm. awesome to use for salads, a lot of freshness, very invasive. Yeah. Mint will pretty much take over your entire yard, it has those runner things, mm -hmm. but at the end here, I'm just going to put in a little bit of mint just to finish it off with so this is a lemon mint. what kind of mint, mint is this? This is a lemon mint, and one okay. of the really cool things that you're starting to see, especially a lot of garden centers now, is all these varietal herbs. Mm -hmm. We're just not thyme, but you've got lemon thyme. I bought a tangerine thyme Ooh. last week. That's why I now have so many herbs, because I, I see them <laughs> and they resist. sound good. And exactly. I go, boy, tangerine thyme, that's mm -hmm. gonna taste really good. So it's a really neat thing to be able to use. Plus it'll grow throughout the entire summer and even early fall for it. So once we get that ready to go, we're good to go with that. That just adds the freshness and there Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. You can that's garnish so with That's so interesting. Thongs. Yeah, very cool, good flavor components. We were talking about this earlier. 
you don't normally think as grapefruit as a big thing for vinaigrettes, but a couple of years ago it started to become popular. I mentioned to mm -hmm. you the white grapefruits, not so much to use, a little bit too bitter. Those are more of a breakfast guy, mm -hmm. but ruby red grapefruits and pink grapefruits, just the perfect amount of acidity and sweetness for a vinaigrette like this. I tell you what, if you're feeling adventurous, you'll want to try this out, and I hope you will. It's recipe number 3815. It's grapefruit fennel salad from Steve Midelsky at Baptist Hospital. We appreciate it. Thanks Thank so much. Know. A good, healthy meal for you.